Hi, welcome to Whiskey Johnny Reviews. I'm Johnny. Today we have for you Jack Daniels. Got a little kit from the liquor store. It has before and after charcoal mellowing. They sent a little thing of the charcoal. I got the uh, camera pretty close up today, trying to show you all these little things. We've also got the before charcoal mellowing, after charcoal mellowing. Of course, these haven't been aged. This one is aged, and this one's double mellowed, so it's gone through what they call the Lincoln County process. Technically, uh, Jack Daniels is a bourbon, but they don't call it a bourbon because they want to be called Tennessee whiskey. Uh, same, same kind of mash bill makeup, technically it is bourbon, but they have a special unique thing here in Tennessee. Uh, it's called the Lincoln County process. They run it through, uh, I believe, charcoal. This one, specifically, sugar maple charcoal. Uh, if you go online, you can see the process and stuff. It's pretty fascinating. I'm not a Jack Daniels fan, but we're gonna check and see these things and kind of see maybe if that sways me. Uh, so we'll just get started, a little informal on this. We'll get the... Uh, do before after regular Jack Daniels Coming in with a gentleman jack. So that's gone through the process twice. And what it is, is they got about 10 feet of this charcoal and they trinkle the whiskey through it. And it just trickles down through 10 foot of charcoal, comes out the bottom. They say it gives it more mellow. And this is where they really want you to see the process. Uh, of how it mellows the whiskey even before the aging so the difference we'll come in with the before uh, that good old uh, grain whiskey smell grainy cereal like uh, and when I say cereal I don't mean like Lucky Charms and stuff but you know you're your corn and your rice, stuff like that. You know, I don't find that unpleasant. I actually, I like that smell. So we'll come over to the after, and this is after it's gone through process of trickling down through that. All right, definitely more uh, mellow. It's uh, subdued. Kind of cleaned it up a bit. It's not as, I guess, what you would call harsh. Almost lets uh, a bit of that, that corn sweetness come through. That's, you can tell the difference. So let's go for traditional. Jack Daniels. All right, so I get a uh, sweetness off the bat. Almost, uh, and I know this is gonna sound odd, but a uh, kind of like a banana pudding. It's weird. Sweet. A little bit of acetone. Let's go for this twice mellowed Gentleman Jack. All right, still got that uh, banana pudding. Seems a little more 
gentler. I mean, Jack Daniels is not a harsh smelling um, whiskey, in my opinion. They still have that that sweetness. I think that's uh, and it's a little more subdued though. I think that's my biggest thing with Jack Daniels is it just sits too sweet for me. And I don't know if that's because of this uh, sugar maple charcoal or what. I know it does make it smoother. It's noticeably even on this, but if you compare it to other contemporaries of its line, it is smooth, but it just has that sweet. So we're gonna try to taste uh, this before. I see I still like this smell though. Alright, it's, uh, I don't know, in my opinion, luscious, I guess, or um, I guess oily. It has a bit of body. It's nice, but it fades. It's not, it's not as harsh as you would think, but then again, I think these are coming in at what, 80 proof on pretty much all of them, or 80 proof. That's, that's about their standard. So imagine a uh, a grain grainy type of moonshine just watered down, of course, to eighty proof. So, but I it's not bad. I like it. We'll go. Hold on, let me cleanse the palate real quick. Well, for this after the process. You know, it's it's smoother. It's more, uh, in my opinion, uh, kind of watery, but it's it's pleasant. Um, you can see where the process it takes off. I'm guessing. Then somebody, please leave in the comments if you know a little more about the process. But stripping away some of those oils and maybe. Some of those, uh, I think would be fatty acids. Maybe strips some of those to harshness and maybe mellows it out. Get some of those uh, maybe impurities. I mean, it cleans it up. It, it calms it down. It mellows, definitely mellows. So the process is working. Uh, we'll go for the regular Jack. Mm, to me, it's it's sweet, and it has a smoothness, yeah, but it's just almost one-dimensional. I think it falls flat, and this aftertaste is just, I don't know, something almost bittery. Uh... I don't know if maybe that comes from the charcoal. I guess it could get a bit of that bitter tones, but the bitter leads that sweetness into almost a artificially bad aftertaste, in my opinion. We'll go for this Gentleman Jack. And I've had this in the past, and if I have to drink Jack, I'll go with Gentleman. Uh, I just think it's a little, a little better. Sweetness, just, there's not much difference between these. Almost sweeter and uh, a little more subdued. Acetone is still there. Hmm. 
it's it's a little I guess smoother mellower than regular Jack Daniels but I'm just getting that flat one-dimensional flavor and it's sweetness just um, a peculiar maybe molasses type uh, sweetness of some sort and there's not much burn being 80 proof none of these really have burn I'm used to higher proofs and uh, when you get down to these lower proofs like 80 I mean it's good uh, every now and then I like a nice light uh, whiskey proof but it's it pretty much essentially the same product just this bins ran through the process twice so it's allowed to trickle down through it uh, but the that one doesn't have so much bad of the bitter aftertaste and the artificial sweetness and like I said I don't know the whole process exactly the science behind it but part of me wants to think logically in my head that it's going to get when something gets burned you have the uh, the bitterness and taste think of uh, char on a grill or burnt toast if you get too much a little bit's nice but if you get too much it gets a bit of that well a bit <laughs> it gets that bitterness and that bitterness I think is just what leads that sweetness to get this weird aftertaste which is I've never been the biggest fan of Jack Daniels because of that uh, like I said this the Gentleman Jack's a little more mellow on that and I guess it's because it's stripping it out but to me in my head and it's probably purely psychological I don't know uh, I'm not saying anything against the Lincoln County process I'm not saying anything against Tennessee I love Tennessee and I love whiskey and I'll drink Jack but I usually will mix it like a Jack and Coke or something like that I'm not much for drinking it neat or straight uh, and I do prefer Gentleman Jack over any of them and these are actually good amazingly enough I know they released them for a promotion on the mellowing part but I wouldn't mind actually having really either of these kind of like some other companies do where they release the uh, unaged type of unmatured you know like the George Dickel or the uh, Buffalo Trace has a white dog actually it's enjoyable uh, I don't know if they'll come up with that who knows I know I would probably buy bottles of that because uh, I don't seem to get as much of that I get more of of course the grains and things like that but I don't get that as much sweetness uh, as I do in these so these actually I would drink these I'd mix them a lot more than I would either of these but it just makes me think that the process was put in place because okay we're running uh, our distill and we get all the the white dog if you will and okay we need to maximize the amount so of course you got heads heart and tails and it's good to have a little bit of the tails in there uh, to help express some more of the flavors but you really want to get rid of that heads part it's got that nasty acetone and all those other things in it and uh, the tails they got more of that water content but you can actually get some flavor from that but I think what they do is maybe they maximize their heart or the amount that they actually take uh, for quantity and then the correction of oh well there might be some nasty stuff in there that could be harmful and I think maybe running it through charcoal was a process of okay you know we're getting more than what we should into certain parts we're getting some off-putting flavors we're getting uh, some not so healthy things that could potentially have bad adverse effects or even I mean people can die if things aren't taken properly but running it through charcoal would make sense because you can pull some of those impurities and some of them nasty taste and things like that out of it 
and then still come with a product you're able to safely put out. But that's, like I said, I'm not a scientist. I don't know the whole process. I know it does have an effect. I don't know the whole story behind it. So if anyone does, please let me know. I'm really interested. Just not a fan of Jack Daniels for the reasons, like I said, that bitterness that leads with the sweetness into that aftertaste. The taste isn't unpleasant. The aftertaste, I mean, you want to drink something more to get taste out of your mouth. So yeah, all right, if you got it, but honestly, I can't really drink the stuff without mixing. And it's just my opinion. Uh, taste is subjective. I'm not saying that Jack Daniels is a horrible brand. Like I said, Gentleman Jack, I like it out of all of them. Uh, I've had some other line, uh, other labels on the line. I'm not a fan of uh, the flavored ones, but I'm not a fan of flavored whiskeys. If I want a flavor, I'll mix it with something. But I just, I don't care for the apple and things like that. But overall, you can see the process and it does actually make a difference. I just think, you know, the aftertaste is what gets me. So, uh, like I said, 80 proof, I don't know. Maybe a different proof, maybe who knows all the things behind that. But I would rate it, mm, I'm gonna have to give it a three. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, not much gonna change your mind. I've, I've never enjoyed it. But I mean, it's not a horrible whiskey. It's good for a mixer, in my opinion. So I give it a three. Definitely worth a try. Even maybe keeping a bottle every now and then is a mixer. So, uh, thank you for coming. And please like and subscribe. I know this one's a little different in form. I just wanted to show you guys these close up. Two things right there. I don't know. We're, we're messing around a bit with some of the uh, position of camera and things like that. Just getting our feel of the groove out. Not a professional by any standards. I'm just a, a concrete pump operator. I do this stuff for fun. And I enjoy reviewing and I enjoy presenting to you guys these. Would love to hear uh, feedback, anything. I mean, if you love Jack Daniels, let me know exactly where maybe I'm going wrong with it. I'll always give whiskey a chance and I'll never say there's anything such as bad whiskey. Maybe, maybe some Kessler. But uh, like I said, again, thank you for watching. Appreciate you. Please like and subscribe. Tell your friends. We're trying to grow this. Get the word out. Interact. Things like that. So until next time. Oh, there we go. Cheers.